Hey y'all, like, don't forget, hashtag find Shay Abay 2K17. Hashtag find Shay Abay 2K17. Like, I'm not playing with y'all. I am so serious. Like, I get weird, get lost. Hashtag. YouTube, it's your favorite herbal teen goddess Shay, and I come back at you guys with another mother effing video. Okay, so today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to any and everybody in the world. You know, love bugs or whatever. Y'all know if this front just keep lifting up, then y'all gonna have to excuse that, hunty. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, I don't celebrate this holiday. I wouldn't even consider it a holiday, but since today is Valentine's Day and I don't have a boyfriend, I was like, why not do the anti-boyfriend tag? The anti-boyfriend tag, I think it's going to be 10 questions and yeah, let's just get into it. But no further ado, let's just hop into this video. Question one. What is the one most important quality you look for in guys? I would say boys that can hold a conversation. I love to talk. And if you don't like to talk, then we can't talk. Because I love to talk about my day. I love to talk about my clothes. I love to talk about hair. I love to talk about any and everything. And if a boy can't rock with that, if he can't just talk with me and stimulate my mind, then we can't talk because I love to talk. Simple. What did Lil Wayne say? When she does, she hold me like a conversation. Wheezy baby. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Question two. What quality is a turn off? Uh, a major turn off. Mm, I have a lot of turn offs. I don't like a boy that can't keep up with himself. I know we have our days or whatever, but if your hair is peasy, your white shirt is dingy, your tennis shoes is leaning, then we can't talk. Like, if you look jacked up, then I'm not going to approach you. And if you look jacked up and you my boyfriend, then that's not going to work because I can't look good and you look bad. Like, that, that just don't go. Like, even though Jay-Z ugly, Jay-Z still go out and dress nice. Beyonce look nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to look nice. I love a boy that can keep up with himself. Fresh haircut. Armpits got to smell good because if I'm hugging a boy and I like to sniff, I love smelling boys, okay? That's just me. I love a boy that can keep up with himself. So, if you can't keep up with yourself, then, yeah, that's a major turn off. So, sloppy boys can't stand it. Question three, what physical feature do you notice on the opposite sex first? Hmm. 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 I will say lips because I have this fetish for lips because I love my lips. So, I will say lips, but then again, face. I'm not sure. Physical feature. I will say arms, body build, you know, how big you are, how tall you are, you know. I don't know. That's kind of hard. I don't know. I don't know. Question four. Describe your dream date. <laughs> okay, okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. Girl, let me girl, let me tell you. Okay. My dream date. Two options. Oh, what's this? My dream date. There are two options. Okay. So I love nighttime. I love the moon. I hate when it's daytime. So my dream date has to be during the night. Full moon. It has to be windy. Oh my god. Windy night, full moon. We can go on a car ride, listen to some Sade. I do no ordinary love. My love is stronger than pride. Sweetest taboo. Just listen to all that. Maxwell, fortunate Maxwell, pretty wings, Maxwell, woman's work, D'Angelo. I just want to ride at night with my baby, with my baby, and just enjoy each other's company. Like, that's my dream date. Then we can go out to eat, of course, but that's something I really want to do. Like, I just really want to do that. Or, you know, nighttime, full moon, it has to be windy, and walk on the beach. Like, just picture it. Like, just picture it, okay? Close your eyes. Close your eyes now. Just picture it. Walking on the beach. It's nighttime. Full moon, and the wind is just whipping through your hair. And then the ocean is just clashing. And you're just holding hands with your baby. And it's just, ugh, I don't know. This, 
I don't know. And I would like to go on a picnic on the beach. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Question five. Who would your celebrity boyfriend be? I would say it's either Yaz, Brashir the Greatest, you know, from Empire Hakeem. It would either be him. Um, hmm. I think that's it. Because I'm not going to lie, there's not too many celebrities that would make me go crazy when I see them on TV. I mean, maybe if I was like 14 again and mom's behavior was still popping, then yeah. But yes, this man, he just makes my heart melt. He makes my heart beat like 246. Like, god dang, god dang. His face, his dimples, his teeth, the way he talks. Dang, I can't. Oh my god! Thinking about him and just seeing him on the new edition movie, it just made me like him even more. Like, ugh, gosh. That man is fine. That man is fine. And age is nothing but a number. You know, I may be young, but trust me, I'm ready. <laughs> I am so ready for him. Question six, what is your relationship deal breaker? Something that might end a relationship because, well, I will say um, lying, I hate liars, especially if you lie over little stuff. If I say, did you like that girl picture? And you say no, then I'm gonna catch a fit because it's not that big of a deal. You can lie to me about something that is so little. I know you can lie to me about something that is freaking major. And me, when I'm in a relationship, my mouth got me in tons of trouble. Like, sometimes I say stuff that's not meant to be said. Like, I'll say, oh, that boy's touching my butt. Oh, that boy was looking at me. Or, that boy smelled good. Or, I wouldn't say that, though, to my boyfriend. Or, I could say, oh, that boy said, you know, I look this and this and this and that. Like, I say unnecessary stuff, but at the same time, I am well honest. Like, I am super duper honest. And if I can't have a boy that's honest with me, then we just can't be. Because... I hate liars. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I, I freaking hate them. Okay. Question seven. What is your relationship deal maker? Something you would like a guy to do in a relationship? I would like a guy to show his emotion. Like, I don't know. How can I explain it? If I talk to a boy about our relationship, I want him to be open with me talk like just express his emotions if he can't communicate with me then that's just a no-go so i love a boy that's willing to communicate and that's not ashamed to hide his feelings and that's not ashamed of his girlfriend that's not ashamed to show off his girlfriend that's a deal maker with me honestly a boy that cares about my feelings a boy with sensitivity like raf said you need a man with sensitivity that's what i need i need me a boy with sensitivity so yeah that question eight what eye and hair color do you prefer um it really doesn't matter honestly um eye color i don't care as long as if i like you i like you it doesn't really matter i mean if your eyes were hazel green gray then that would be a plus but it doesn't hurt to have a brother with dark brown eyes it doesn't hurt and hair color i don't care as long as it's nothing like orange pink purple because that's for me not for my guy but i don't know it really doesn't matter as long as it's not a bright color then i'm cool with that question nine he buys you a gift what would it be i'll say it has to be like a couple of shirts underwear sports bras i love smell goods perfume lotions um i like earrings or it could be hair bundles. It's either Victoria's Secret underwear, underwear and bra set, um, hair, some smell good products, uh, food. I love food. You can never go wrong with food. Um, and a teddy bear. I love teddy bears. I have a whole wall lined up with teddy bears. So yeah, I'm a pretty simple girl. Like it's not that hard to please me. Question ten. Would you say you have a type? If so, what is your type? Um, I wouldn't say I have a type, but then again, I would call it a type. Uh, I like artistic boys. I love boys that's into deeper meaning in life, spiritual-wise. I love dudes that can just stimulate my mind and make me think because I do that a lot. Like, 
if me and a guy was to ever have a conversation, I would make him fall in love with me before even kissing, before, e before even doing anything. You know, like, my talk game, I'm not going to say it's all that, but it's something. Like, I know how to stimulate the mind. So, I love artistic boys. I love boys. The term, the term of boys. Ambitious boys. Tall, dark-skinned, brown-skinned boys. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I have a type, but I mean, if that sums it up, then yeah, I love artistic boys. For example, I like Common, I like Andre 3000. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, comment below and tell me what is your type? Do you have a type? What is your type? Who will be your celebrity boyfriend? Ooh, ooh, I want to know. Like, girl, give me all the deeds. But, uh, yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. Bye! Slow down, it's for you. Slow down, nigga, wanna...